Map number two will be Automaton Ladder Edition. No time is being wasted here as we go into game number two of this best of seven. Best of six with an ace match. <clears throat> Once again, in the bottom left cor hand corner, we have the Mech Terran Rathorn. And in the top right hand corner, we have the volatile Mega Bear Cub. Overlord first from Mega Bear. Um, as a Zerg player, that signals something. Something a little bit weird. Something cheeky in the works. Rathorn has been known to be thrown in the past by these kind of aggressive plays that uh, make him uncomfortable <clears throat> or perhaps that he's not expecting. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a drone go out for a scout. Maybe not. It's getting a little bit late. Big question is, will we see a factory this game? All signs point to yes. <clears throat> he is getting a gas that um could be to build a Reaper this game that could help him out tremendously. Be able to scout what Mega Bear Cub's doing. Ooh, triple hatch! Super greedy for Mega Bear Cub. Completely the opposite of what he did last game. I know both players were practicing heavily specifically for this matchup. Um, looks like we're going to get a great series of games out of it. <clears throat> SCV heading across the map. Just wants to make sure there's an expansion there. Um, but it's not going to check for a third. It has no idea. All it's going to see is a standard-ish finishing natural. Um, Will Rathorn queue it into the main? <clears throat> Once again, CC building on the high ground for Rathorn. Hmm. Hmm. He does not. CC going up on the high ground. Double factory. Or, um, I'm sorry. Second refinery finishing up. Factory finishing up. Some standard Rathorn. <clears throat> Reactor on the barracks to be swapped out with the factory. Ooh, and we see a starport go down. Mega Bear Cub making six drones, going to heavy econ. Two Hellions in production for Rathorn. <clears throat> Tech Lab being dropped on the other racks. Starport finishes up. And I would I would bet my bottom dollar on some five and a half minute six minute aggression from Wrath. <laughs> This Mega Bear Cub continues to drone up. Well, I guess he's making links, but yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Had to wait for the injects. <clears throat> Wrath, just gonna play it safe. Take his expansion. Plenty of Hellions popping up. A Banshee, similar to the build from last game. Um, Mega Bear Cub, possibly trying to psych Wrath out with these links. Um, make it look like he's all winning. 
Because this, y you never expect to get too much damage done with this. Um, <clears throat> but it's it's kind of just, yeah. It's gonna delay mining a little bit. Five whole seconds. All the wings get absolutely toasted, but that's okay because he has 22 more on the way. And he's mining out of all three of these bases. I'm afraid the Baneling Nest will be quite operational by the time your five minute attack arrives. Okay. Second Banshee finishing up here. Ooh, he cancels it and makes a Viking. Interesting choice. Interesting choice indeed. Um, I don't know how much good that's going to do him as Mega Bear just kind of floating his overlords in a cloud around his bases. Super safe. Maybe one overlord kill on that Viking. Banshee heading across the map all on his lonesome. <clears throat> Mega Bear genociding the rocks. <laughs> Press F to pay respects for those rocks. Danelings being morphed in, Roach Warren finishing up for Mega Bear Cub. Hellbats in production for Wrath. I always found it interesting you could produce Hellbats out of the factory, specifically, and they just walk out like that, like it's a different unit. <clears throat> Here we go! Aggression goes in. Oh! Sick Baneling hits, but all the links getting toasted. It doesn't matter. The drone count's still really good for Mega Bear Cub. Every one of these Hellbats will go down, and Rathorn doesn't have anything left to attack with, pretty much. Um, Banshee, gonna be poked away. Get the f- uh, get, get out of here, Banshee. <laughs> Creep spread. Should explode here soon. Thor's in production from Wrath. We're going, we're going full mech. Third command center about halfway done. Um, Mega Bear should be putting down a four. Oh, he's going to flood links. I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, only four Hellbats. Nothing to kill the Banshee. Okay, two Thors. Um, by the time Banelings morph in, this tank should be fully operational and able to hold off. Banshee poking out on these lings. <laughs> Get out of here, lings. <clears throat> the Virgin Banshee versus the Chad Zerglings. Oh! Toasty supply depots. He will take out all the Hellbats, but not enough to do any economic damage here. Supply depots being knocked down a little bit. Oh! Low health supply depot. Lo oh no! Five health, five health repair. Terran, good unit. <clears throat> we have ranged and carapace on the way for Mega Bear Cub. Um, he knows he's going to be facing down mech. Missile turrets, Thors, <laughs> Hellbats, Hank, and plus one on the way for Rathorn. <clears throat> Income difference, almost double in favor of the, well, about six, seven hundred in favor of the Zerg. Three hundred more gas. Um, these mules are getting dropped, so we should see a number climb. There we go. That's more like it. Things are evening up now. And, uh, Mega Bear not going to be able to break this anytime soon. Oopsies. I guess that's a little bit redundant. Um, should see a little bit of... Ooh, maybe not. Ling's gonna poke in here. Should know there's a third somewhere. Banshee flying over creep. Gonna be a little bit ineffectual. 
like a bear cub with the three extra expansions. <clears throat> um, so many workers to 68. Hmm. Plus one. Finishing up. Four mega bear cub. We see swarm hosts on the way. Seven swarm hosts out on the field. Will the Banshee scout it? No. Banshee is going to be forced away. Um, and we'll have to see what Mega Bear can do with these swarm hosts. <clears throat> Heavy amount of roaches coming out as well. Wrath continuing his production, upping the Thor count, upping the Siege Tank count. <clears throat> Just trying to be that Turtle Mech Terran that he plays so well. Hmm. Hmm. Heading out on the map, probably just to take down this gold base. <clears throat> Swarm host passing like a ship in the night. Oh, he does call them back. Looks like Mega Bear. Maybe going to try and defend this. Ooh. One tank goes down, but the rest are fully sieged up. These roaches not going to do much. Swarm host. Launching their MLG Locusts right onto the Thors. Um, not even going to take out a single Thor. And repair is happening <laughs> the one SCV. 25 roaches in production. 2-2 two -two started. This mech spelling a death knell for Mega Bear Cup here. Excellent engagement. This is exactly what you want to do as the Zerg. Rathorn is engaging on creep. The tanks are unseaged. Um, ugh. But it's not quite enough. Another wave of locusts about to pop. We'll have to see how much damage this does. One Thor and the siege tank are picked off. Second Thor goes down, and it looks like Mega Bear is going to hold here. It's all up to a Hero Thor and a Hero Siege Tank, and a lot of SCVs. I don't know about this. Lings, ah, oh, they pick off the Siege Tank, and Mega Bear holds! Mega Bear holds! All these workers are gonna die! We're going to see the worker count here plummet for Rathorn. 64 workers. Not enough army at home. This is not enough to go and try to break Mega Bear Cub. So he's going to have free reign, two drone up. Um, fourth not even finished here. And Mega Bear is sitting pretty on five bases. Siege tank kind of... <laughs> Ooh, swarm host going in. Four more swarm hosts in production. Two, two about to finish off. I would almost wait to launch the locust wave. Until 2-2 two -two finishes, we'll have to see how much time is there. Oh, I can't quite mouse over it, but... Um, ooh, launching into the main. I, I'm not sure how I... Okay, okay, so he splits it 50-50. Unfortunately, those Lucas derping into the planetary. One tech lab. Two tech labs. Uh, uh, uh. Three tech labs. Uh, uh. Four. Four tech labs going down. Mmm, mmm, baby barks. Mmm. Swarm host count rising here for Mega Bear, and those will only gain value out of it. Oh, huge roach attack into the natural. <laughs> ah, not much to even say. Oh, he gets the natural. Mm. Those are going to have to do some hero repairs, but the worker count just keeps getting lower and lower. That command center still on fire. 32. 32 SCVs going down. Um, yeah, the income differential is ginormous. Mega Bear Cub doing exactly what he needs to do against his mech. There's barely anything here at home, but he has his own death push on the other side of the map. Um, Swarm Host, not the best defending units. He's gonna head home here. Where are the Swarm Hosts, actually? Did I, did I miss them getting completely... Airhorned? Oh, there they are. Okay. Swarmhost, not the best defending units, but 
in that great a number. Oh, Thor going down. Tanks going down. No siege here. Sieging would be foolish, but they're going to do next to no damage. Rathorn barely dining. All the siege tanks gone. All the Thors. A couple Banshees. He's going to trickle in some Hellbats with SCVs. That's going to do nothing. Look at the Locust Wave. They're blotting out the sun. It looks like... More hell that's coming in. But they're gonna run. I mean, I feel like the critical error here is Rathorn just let this creep expand. Constantly fighting on creep against Roach, against Swarm Host, and it just gives Mega Bear so much time to prepare, so much time to react. And he's making every play absolutely correct here. <laughs> Corruptors even popping up. There's Banshees? They're shut down. They're shut down for the rest of the game. Rathorn trying to make something happen here. Um, the worker count, 46 to 34, but not as dire as you'd think for Mega Bear Cub. He can just drone away. He's perfectly safe. It looks like he is going to choose to go across the map. Ah, oh, and the Corruptors! The Corruptors dropping their acid onto the planetary, and it will go down! Not even going to attempt to repair it! Swarm host coming up behind. We should see a locust wave go into the main here soon. All the tech labs will die. <laughs> Thor's in production. They're not going to be stopped by the tech labs going down. Roach is taking out the supply depots, and it looks like siege tanks. Siege tanks can hold here until the locust hit. Oh, I, I definitely disagree with that. That could have demolished the siege tank line. One of very few errors we've seen from Mega Bear during this game. More and more bases going up for Mega Bear. Um, mules being dropped, but the income diff. Well, I guess the income differential is in favor of Rathorn. Um, Mega Bear not quite droning up as much as he needs to. Not hitting that 65 minimal drone count that you want versus Mac Greater Spire on the way. Um, but not much of a gas bank for him when that Greater Spire hits. Uh, just. <coughs> Excuse me, he's going to be able to afford maybe five, six Brood Lords. Ooh. I don't know about this. Oh, jeez, Rick, I don't know about this. Locust putting in the work, though. Roach is not quite focused behind the Thors, but that's okay. That's okay. Every unit going down for Wrath. Good game. Well played is called as we go into game number three.